Hello, and welcome to the Image Reconstruction Project. I'm Logan McCarthy. And I'm Taylor Schrader. An overview of our project is that we will be reconstructing damaged image files using two different methods of interpolation, linear interpolation and cubic spline. Uh, we'll be simulating data loss uh, or corruption by randomly changing a certain percentage of pixels to pure white. Realistically, we can use any size image, but our implementation using MATLAB and writing to a CSV file can take a very long time to complete if the image is over 250 by 250 pixels. The image can be um, any sort of format, color, black or white, or even grayscale. Um, for this example, we've chosen two 200 by 200 pixel images of flowers. One is in color, one is in grayscale. And we used the flowers to show the differences in uh, detail composition on a real world example of a photo that somebody may have on their phone. Uh, we use these photos to generate two uh, CSV files with 24-bit color data for each pixel, but this could be reworked to use any standard like 8-bit color. Here we have our examples of the image, um, our original on the left through 10, 50, and 80% damage. These are, like I said earlier, randomly selected and changed to pure white. And then we have the color image as well through that 10% damage, 50% damage, and 80% damage. The methods we use to reconstruct the image files, which we'll show in the next couple slides, are linear, linear interpolation and cubic spline. For linear interpolation, we look through the CSV files that were generated for missing or broken data. When we found that data, we would run a linear interpol interpolation algorithm on the data around the mixing pixel to fill in the gap. For cubic spline, however, we used MATLAB's built-in cubic spline function, spline, and we ran a cubic spline integration across the image and remade the missing data in the CSV file based on the interpolated data. Here you can see the black and white slash grayscale reconstruction comparison for linear interpolation and cubic spline. On the top, you can see the linear interpolation but compared to the cubic spline interpolation in the original image on both 10%, 50%, and 80% damage. If you look close, the linear interpolation loses a lot of definition and gets kind of fuzzy around the edges of harsh transitions like from white to a darker color shade black as well as there was a significant blue and yellow shifting of the colors throughout the linear interpolation especially when you got further on to 80 percent damage and more this was likely to do with our manual impl implementation of the linear interpolation method and possible rounding errors within, a built-in linear interpolation method might not have had these issues. As well with the cubic spline interpolation, you can see that the resolution of the image was kept pretty consistent. However, with upwards of 50, and as you can see in the 80% damaged image, there are big holes of data where it's just black pixels. What happened here is there were big chunks of data which were all lost and cubic spline didn't have enough information to accurately plug the data back in so we left it black however you could realistically run cubic spline on the 80 percent reconstructed image and bring further definition back again here you can see the linear interpolation and the cubic spline interpolation reconstructions for the colored image with the colored image you can see a lot more of the blurring and smearing effect that the linear interpolation method brings and again with the cubic spline interpolation you can see the resolution and clarity is pretty well kept even at 80 percent damage and again you could run cubic spline interpolation on that 80% damage reconstructed photo and bring back more definition. Our errors for the black and white photo, as you can see in this chart for both linear and cubic interpolation, 
The actual data loss was pretty consistent with what we set out to uh, destroy. Obviously, there wasn't uh, a perfect representation, but it was fairly close. And then the exact damage uh, data after the data recovery um, compared to the humanized perceived damage tells a much different story. With a 24-bit color, there are more than 16 million colors, almost 17 million. And you run into the issue of these algorithms having to guess one of those 17 million almost colors. But the human eye can see with a distinction of about 3% perception difference. So we use that to round the numbers and using that 3% difference in pixel shift, uh, you can see that the pixel recovery damage was actually moved a lot closer to uh, being fully reconstructed, which is why the image looks a lot better uh, than only fixing, say, 1% of the, the pixels from the 10% damage on linear integration. Here you can see the error for the color photos. The numbers are fairly consistent. However, cubic spline tends to be around 5 to 10% better, depending on the, uh, on the black and white. And we think this is because with grayscale images, you're only dealing with a smaller subset of the data of total colors, whereas on full color pictures, you're dealing with the full 17 almost million color spectrum. So for future work on this project, we could run multiple or go over multiple runs on the interpolation algorithms on the same image. Like Taylor had discussed earlier um, with the cubic spline method, leaving those black holes we would run that again and again, um, we could eventually bring that definition back and fill in those uh, blocks that were missing. Um, another thing we could work on is running the algorithm over a subsection of the image instead of the entire thing as a whole. Um, and then we could also look at different interpolation methods such as bilinear, quadratic, or others. Um, and then we could look at how this could be used for resizing the photos themselves, as if we would go from that 200 by 200 pixel image to something much larger, like a, say 500 by 500 image to fill in those extra pixels. In conclusion, that we've decided that the linear interpolation method does best when recovery is only minor amounts of data loss, but ends up blurring the image if large amounts of the data is missing. Cubic spline has trouble when there are large chunks of the data that are missing because the missing chunks are not completely filmed in as you saw earlier. Linear interpolation on the color image and the worst case took just over three seconds at 3.234 seconds. Well, cubic spline took 6.885 seconds. Um, this was that 80% damage of the 250 by 250 pixel image. So in practice, that if only a small amount of data needs to be recovered, the linear interpolation method would likely be the best choice that is much better for faster computation. However, with that smearing effect that we uh, experienced with that large 80% damage, it would often be better to go ahead and take that extra time to do that cubic spline.